What's going on, YouTube? It's Ready for Victory 22. Come back at you with another update video, MLB Tap Sports 2020. This weekend, we had the Pool Hitters Royale. And as you can see, my club, we ranked second place. We probably would have came in first if we didn't had the Tito's Red Herring in our bracket. But, um, yeah, we um, all contribute great this weekend. This is the most points we ever scored in a weekend event. Like, how many clubs, you know, hit the trillion mark? You know, and you feel good once you do hit that mark. You know, and I'm proud of everybody that contributed on my club. You know, we, we hit that mark. This is just the top 10 right here. I did place in the MVP rankings. Me and my teammate, uh, Friars. Friars placed six. I placed eighth. Um, Friars had all the sets, you know, you know, nice sets set up, you know, and everything. Um, I, I was working with, like, just two sets most of the weekend to, like, Today, in, in which I um, actually captured a, a player from the uh, boxes you get from the uh, CVS uh, rewards, and um, I was able to get a third set from there, and I get more into that. But, uh, yeah, Friars, you know, he working with, uh, you know, some nice ATGs right there and put up some numbers for the, for the weekend. And everything. And um, my profile, I'm, I'm ranked number uh, 300 in the world. Surprisingly, I'm still in the world rankings. I, ha I wasn't trying to uh, still be in the world rankings. You can ask people from my team. I, I was trying to score low points purposely so I can get booted up out of the world rankings. But it didn't happen. And I don't know how it didn't happen. Like, I scored points purposely low. It should have happened. But, um, you know, I'm still, you know, um, you know, working with my all-foil lineup. Um, I had Chipper Jones on here earlier during the event, but since it ended, I just changed the profile. But this is the... The lineup I'm going with uh, right now for my all foils, man. It's crazy because I was chasing a fourth foil a few weeks ago just to add to this profile. And I have enough foils that are legends that can fill up my lineup and even sit on the bench. I'll show you that soon. So... Um, Here's my stats and everything. Um, what did change is my high score around in the CBC. Um, thanks to my um, leader, Moonrock, he told me about the uh, CBC um, pretty much uh, pass when you go to the store. So you get the edge pass. And... And you get extra boosts if you know how to maneuver that pass. And he told me the fundamentals of that pass. And I put that pass in, the, um, you know, in, um, you know, effect. So my high score round change, it used to be like at, what was it, four, either in the fours, I think. But um, that change, he, he told me. You know, when you in those rounds, you know how you like to watch the little video, get a couple of more hits. But I, I didn't really take them a couple of more hits seriously. Um, not until I got that uh, CVC edge. And, you know, those points that you accumulate is just ridiculous. So I was able to pull up a high score round, but let me... Um, let me say this, that high score round, 
I believe I started around about 600,000. I had to manually play until I got, you know, my high school around. Um, matter of fact, it was either six or 800,000. I don't know. This um, week, when you're playing, you know, you, you're doing these matches and you're competing and that's what you're, you know, you know you're doing. So, um, you know, I was able to accumulate that. So, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I got that. You know, I, this weekend I put up the most CBC points I ever put up. It was in the 12, so like 12.5 um, um, billion, you know. So that's just 12.5 billion, you know, in CBC points for the weekend. It's getting close to uh, two o'clock my time. Let me let's just check out the store real quick. I wanted to show you something, so you know I won't be pressed for time. So these are the offerings in the in here. Um, you know I didn't hop on any of the uh, deals here. Uh, I just let that. I needed Evo. It's like you know I needed Evo bad. You know. Um, starving for Evo. Um, if y'all like movies and, you know, you got Netflix, check out this, uh, movie called Platform. <laughs> I just like that. I just, I don't know. Just something about that movie Platform, it just, uh, trips me out. And if you run across two versions, uh, you know, there is a Spanish version and, um, an English version. Um, just, uh, you know, you know, find the English version, but it's on Netflix. But uh, that's one of my um, craziest favorite movies. All right. Um, what we're going to go to now is going to be our CVC. And um, as you can see, um, you know, putting up them crazy numbers. I, I thought um, this Hulk fit. Two team, I, I thought that was going to be more challenging because all CBC today has been challenging, but they was unchallengeable. So, um, you know, my team, shit, we've been contributing, you know, all weekend. You know, I like to just tip my hat for my team, you know, for, you know, just putting in them points all weekend. We all together on here. I forgot to show y'all something. All right. Let me see. Maybe I might not find it, but let's just check out some. So here's the squad. You know, how we're listed. We're in the majors. Of course, you probably already seen. And, um, our, our weekday and weekend event is uh, definitely um, getting higher. Um, you know, we just, you know, we're just trying to just, you know, be up there, you know, with the big wigs, you know. So versus the rankings, we got 44, but we're not that far from, you know, the top 20 here. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the boxes for this week before those disappear in five minutes. Central Standard Time. So we got these pool hitter boxes. So the percentage chance. I pulled everybody. Except. Matthew son and Ted Williams. I didn't pull him in this particular box. I pulled him in a CVC MVP dreams box. So just by winning the uh, CVC box, you really do have a good chance. Kinda, cause this is only 0.1% chance. But um, I pulled him and the crazy ironic thing is it was doing a CBC match when I, I I scored like 
280 million. So I started manually playing from there. And I ended up with like, oof, I would say 800 and something million, but I felt like it was all worth it because if we didn't win that CVC and it was definitely close, it was a close CVC, but I caught them under guard. I think they let their guard out and said, we give up. And they pretty much let their guard down. And, you know, when I put my, you know, numbers on the board, I think they wasn't expecting that. And I still had more CVC games to go. CVC games to play. And CVC games to put the big numbers up. You want to actually knock out a big game within your first or second tickets. Um, is what I learned. And by doing that. You can put up some numbers, maybe intimidate the other side, make them not want to play. But if they really are competition players and they're competitors, you're going to start using gold so me i i use 80 gold per ticket so have 80 gold per ticket doing that that blast of you know you you going through these uh tickets you're getting you're producing like 500 million if you have a great pool you're gonna produce about Six, seven hundred. And you can work from there. Like the trick is, even if you have more bonus players that can be in the CVC and their primes. If they're not like a Trevor story. Remove them. They're just slowing down your progress. You want to keep flowing. You want to keep going. If you have this prime. That just slows you down. Basically, he might be the person that gets the out. He might be getting three outs, especially if you're hitting the auto play button. You don't know who's getting the out. But if you just go ahead and just take him out, keep the process rolling. Instead of little three million, you know, ticket games, you might start getting 100 million, 200 million. And eventually you hit them trillions. I mean, <laughs> billions, I mean. But, um, you know, I'm thinking about my team, how we put up a trillion in my club. So um, shout out to, um, you know, my club. You know, we, um, you know, try and do our thing to the best of our ability. Chop out 420. So uh, you see my... Uh, I did 46 billion for the uh, just the club points and then the versus point 12. So, you know, I, I got a feeling I still be in the rankings and everything. And, you know, I didn't get all that extra field pass, even though I need the Evo because um, it's like, wow, y'all giving us legend and, and prime. Y'all giving us uh, um, ice bags. I mean, y'all acting f like kind of weird with the uh tournament games because one moment there used to be like some 12 bonus games you can get and that 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 little this little first round draft pick oh, man don't even need that i don't mind the ice packs the the one evo token i didn't even mind i mean the players i didn't even um I didn't really even do any tourney boxes. Tell you the truth, I didn't even do any walk-off hero. For the first time, I never even, you know, did a walk-off hero for the event. And I'm talking about, I started on round seven. What's so hard to do little four rounds just to, you know, get them, you know, cash or whatever it was going to get? I didn't want to get it. The reason why I didn't want to get it is because my Evo, check that out. My Evo is like, I started the event with like 400 or less. I didn't have to sell my soul for Evo, but, 
you know, I had to, you know, hit the box and everything just to actually, um, you know, cap out players. So, you know, I just raised their tear up when I repool, which you're going to repool. Most definitely you're going to repool. Um, but, you know, by doing that, you know, that was the only way I was able to get. I, since I started off with 400 Evo, I was able to get, you know, players like um, John here and, you know, players like John and, you know, I, I got early in the game, like Ted Williams. I got Ted Williams. Um, I only I got him on the telly. I'm telling you, the, 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 the CVC event before the last CVC event. So it, it kind of reminds me of two other times, either a time I got a player on the last CVC event on the, you know, little free boxes or just before last. So that was going with Boone and Carter. So I feel great that I, you know, pulled this Ted Williams from a CVC event. I wouldn't expect him, especially not from that box. But he played, you know, good. I didn't have Evo to, you know, actually put him into the gold statue for the boost. But, um, you know, he's, yeah, he pulled up some solid numbers for the 259 games that he did play. Andrew Jones pulled him quick, pulled him a few times. You know, uh, I, I put him at the uh, gold tier where he's ready for the platinum. So I didn't really do no Evo for him either so you know he he did good you know shout out to all the brave fans so um john i only pulled him one time and it was early off of like field pass kind of thing and what no no not the field pass i had uh bought the little um little bundle it was 14.99 bundle i think i bought one 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 of them it'd be i don't know it'd be uh confusing i think i bought one but, you know, um, yeah, he's putting up some solid numbers. On the playing field, this is a big boy. Like, <laughs> um, I mean, he's not going to be my um, – I'm, I'm going to probably have him a DH or something because uh, his uh, boost isn't all the way up there, and it, just, it isn't better than Perez. So um, I'll probably have Perez in because Perez is a fucking true hitter. But uh, we got uh, Troy – you know, I pulled him kind of late, but he's been putting up some numbers too. Um, you know, that's 400 games played. Look at all those strikeouts. And I think he was like 100,000 per strike. You already know Clayton um, Ferguson. I don't think y'all seen Bob, but Bob been um, playing good out here. 11, almost 12,000 strikes. Willie's from last week event. He's a slugger. You know what I'm saying? Tony Gwynn. Slugging it out. Boost out to the max. You know. Man. Buddy Bell. Buddy Bell don't play as good as, you know, as, you know that card look. But uh, he's putting up. Some number he don't play as well. I'm I'm I admit I have him as my profile. Just cause, look at it. I'm from Texas, you know you gotta represent. Perez definitely gonna have him on my lineup. He's boosted out, boosted out. Like like how Perez boosts out. I wanna have trial on my lineup, but I'm gonna have a all foils or either you know I'm gonna have a all foils or all foils ATG on my lineup. Madison Bumgarner, pretty good. Yeah, he was out there in the field putting them the points. Trevor Story, doing, yeah, I, I had to keep him on my lineup. Um, once I accumulated my third set, um, which would have came when I got Ted, pretty much activating the Luke Voigt. I already had Luke Voigt and everything, pulled him so many times, and you know I already had that second baseman and everything, so I – um, I had the second baseman, in the uh, you know, on the bench and everything. Put Luke in the game. Luke and Trevor Story, they played uh, pretty swell. Kenny Medea, you know, I'm gonna keep him just not on the lineup, but just actually keep him. That's a cool player card, and you know, I love his foil. You know, he put up, you know, made my team a lot of points. Um, Luke, let's check him out. 
he didn't uh, play that many games. Once they got him activated, you could see that him and Ted probably got the same amount of games and everything produced. But uh, Gary Sanchez, it was off and on. Gary Sanchez had to see how he worked. But shit, the home runs and all that RBIs and shit, that um, pretty much produced that right to the points that I got. Um, we already know Joe and uh, Gene. I had him on the bench, just uh, had that set activated. For the first time, yeah, I loved it. They didn't have it all confusing with activating sets and all this. You got these franchise players just to get this set and this cancellate this set and this set and this set. Whoa, like there's no need for all that. But there is some need for some Evo. <laughs> Because all I got is 10. So um, let's go ahead and check out this lineup now. And uh, we already went up, you know, went through pretty much uh, the actual uh, players that's on my lineup. But I'm going to just check out that batting order. So this is the batting order that I was using during the game. And this is how I like to work things. So... Uh, All right, and uh, pretty much back to our lineup. Let's uh, check out the pitchers real fast, and we'll go check out the batters. So Madison, Kidna, they're going to be removed most definitely. Uh, that Troy to the lineup, and uh, it's good to have a three, uh, a 535 on here and everything because um, uh the other Troy is only a 505. And so a lot of players I'm going to get rid of. I'm, I even got to get rid of Dusty Baker. I got I to got, I got, I got let go. Like, I looked at the stats and looked what I'm compared to now. I uh, got this Kitna. I'm going to have to let him go too. But I thought that was pretty cool just hitting those boxes for resources. All right, let's get to them batters. Let's go ahead and scroll down. I'm, Melina's still sticking around. I'm going to still keep him around, but I'm going to let you know who I'm going to get rid of. Still keeping him around, Aaron. You know, Paul gone. Player of the Weeks, so I didn't even use them for this event because they love to put them in the events that I don't even play, you know. Yeah, Mitch is leaving. Buxton, I threw him in a couple of times, 14 games. I mean, he wasn't a waste of, you know, putting any prime. I thought I was going to use him more, but I... You know, pretty much, I didn't really, he kind of boosted up himself. So, you can tell the players that I'm going to be getting rid of. I hate to let, I'm going to have to let both Dusties go. Because just looking at the average, his games played in the home runs, trash. And I ain't done nothing with him. As you can see, the foils is lining up. Chipper Jones. Oh, I see what I did. Like, I didn't have Chipper Jones on my actual, because uh, I switched them out. So y'all didn't even get to see Chipper Jones until I just did it just now, huh? So, um, yeah, I switched him out. Uh, what was I doing just now? I had to do something. Oh, yeah, I was doing the dingers. I was uh, trying to do the little dinger uh, thing. So I switched out the third baseman so I can get a left lefty in there. And, um, uh, yeah, I left out Chipper Jones and the whole ordeal. I'm glad I went down my lineup. But, yeah, there go Chipper, you know. And uh, I'm going to have him actually, while I'm here, I might as well just uh, go ahead and put him back at third base, man. Um, yeah, I'm tripping. I'm going to have him there. I put Buddy Bell there just uh, 
um, just to have like a lefty for some dingers at the event. And yeah, yeah, I wanted to tell y'all something. Ready for Victory 22? Um, I actually came up with that name, you know, some some time ago. I'm about to be. 35 on um this coming Thursday. I came up with that um name when I was actually uh 22. So um yeah. So um I hope y'all had a great weekend. I can't think of anything else I need to discuss in the game. Um <clears throat> yeah, I gave some tips and everything. Hmm. Let me know if any of them tips that I gave y'all, you know, um, actually work. Um, I like to respond to anybody that, you know, send me a message. If I don't respond, I probably was, you know, busy or whatever. But, you know, I like to reply to any, you know, anybody that sends me a message in the game. So, um, y'all, um, have a great, great week. Y'all take care.